All right, good morning, Men of Church. We want to give you uh, the devotions for this morning, and we're going to work off Brother Jody's message Sunday, and it was a very good message, we thought, uh, that he did a wonderful job there. And so as we look at our screen this morning, uh, we are going to talk about this point that he said that his ways are always better. His ways are always better. I, I really like that. Uh, and so if you look at what that's the scripture out of Isaiah 55, 8 through 9, and that's our devotion for this morning, it says, God speaking to Israel, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. And Brother Jody did a good job of comparing the way that Chastity, his wife, thinks versus the way he thinks. You know, there's a difference. And, you know, that's the way, that's what God's telling the nation of Israel, you know, as they were going through things, as they were going and passing through some of the consequences of their rebellion to God, uh, we find that uh, God is saying, now listen, you got to understand something. You need to turn back to me and understand that my thoughts, the way that I think in my mind, is different than the way you think in your mind. In other words, his way is always better. I thought that was a good point that Brother Jody made. And so I started thinking about this. And look at this scripture really closely. God makes the premise or the point in verse 8. Again, my thoughts are not your thoughts. I don't think the same way you do. And my ways are not your ways. I don't do things the way that you expect or that you want me to do them. I do them my way. And then he gives a great illustration. I want you to look at this. In verse 9, the illustration is this. For as the heavens, here's the comparison, as the heavens are so much higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The comparison is, if you think of the heavens versus the earth, how much higher is it uh, for uh, to be in the heavens than to be on the earth? And so I started thinking about that. What does that mean? Well, that means that there is a difference, right? There's a difference between the heavens, the space, and the earth. And God is saying there's a difference in his intentions and his interpretations of what's happening in our lives. Okay, there's a difference. There's a contrast. And then second, we see the point of elevation. He says that they're much higher, which means God's thoughts and God's plans are unmeasurable. There's a great distance there. And even the psalmist David said, for the number of your thoughts towards me are incomprehensible. God's thoughts, the amount the unmeasurable, the amount of what God thinks towards us is something we can never comprehend. And the next thing about being higher is the quantity. It is superior to ours. Uh, we're small-minded, but God is large-minded. We see the small picture, but God sees the big picture. There's also a comparison of quality, heavenly versus earthly, right? The heavens and its splendor and its beauty and its wonder is so wonderful. It's perfect and precise versus this earth, which is not. It is a comparison of time, eternal thoughts, eternal plans versus our temporal thoughts and temporal plans. So let's think about that again. My thoughts, my plans, my ways are much higher. In other words, there is a great difference in my intentions and interpretations. There is an un unmeasurable distance, amount, of what God's thoughts and plans are for us. They are superior to ours, big-minded versus small-minded. They are heavenly versus earthly. Uh, they, are, they are wonderful, perfect, and precious. And they are eternal and not temporal. So to finish this, I believe what God was saying, uh, here in Indianapolis, you'll see there's a flag on top of a tower. And I started thinking, what if I was standing on top of that flag? and was looking at the skyline of Indianapolis or this big, large building here? What if I was able to just stand there and just turn and look around the whole city? And so that reminded me much higher than, that's what God said, my thoughts, my plans, are, my ways are much higher than yours, much better, much more wonderful, much more precious. But then I began to think if I was standing there and looking at the city, I was reminded of Mark Hall's analogy. If we look at a parade, and we'll say we're standing where I'm standing when I took that picture. And the parade comes by on that street. I can only see what is immediate in front of me. That is our perspective. That is our ways. And that is our plans. But God is much higher than us. 
God is like on top of that building. So God can not only see what's immediate, but God sees the beginning and the end. In fact, he sees the end from the beginning. So then his ways and his plans are so much higher than ours. They're more perfect, more precious, they're more calculated, they're more intentional, and they are for our good. So I want to end it with that. Surrender your will to God. Surrender your ways to God. Surrender your thoughts to God uh, because his way and his thoughts are much higher than ours. Again, as Brother Jody said, his ways are always better. Have a wonderful day today.